got another Motion 5 tutorial for you. And today we're going to be showing you how you can make a split screen effect. And here's the finished product of what we're going to be doing. Alright, so you can see you've got the two um, you got the two uh, two video clips here with the dividing line and they slide away to reveal a new clip. And I'm just going to be showing you the basics here so that you can uh, do whatever you want with this. You could take this and just leave these two clips here for a, for a split screen effect or you could add more more clips that slide away. But I'm just going to be showing you the basics here today. Alright, so let's get started. So, start and delete all my footage and go ahead and import two video clips photos or video clips either one will work and grab photos because it'll be easier to work with here it won't be um, choppy alright so I've got my two uh, images here size them up And there's a little bit of a funny story behind this image I've used in one of my tutorials before. Um, I went to make a Photoshop tutorial for it with a tilt shift effect. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it looks a little bit um, miniaturized right now. I um, forgot to uh, save it as a copy, and now the original image has been turned into that tilt shift effect. So, a little Photoshop mayhem there. Forever miniature bush stadium. All right. So anyway, here we go, and we've got the uh, two images here, one one stacked on top of the other. You can see. Try that. Yeah, one stacked on top of the other. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and try to keyframe. We're going to take uh, the one on top and. Under your selection tool, under your transform tool, go down and select the crop tool. And now we're going to move these around to which part of the image we want to be um, cropped. We can do this uh, any way you want to. Just you'll just have to set up your line differently then. All right, so about like that, and go back over. Well, it's, we have to bring it down a little farther. You want generally you want to be about halfway uh, up the canvas. It's about like that. Now we'll select our image behind it and crop that one up to about where um, that is right there, where your first image ends. All right, so now that we have those both there, uh, choose your transform tool again and make sure they're all straightened up to look pretty good. And now we're going to take uh, our line tool. It'll say rectangle, but if you come down here, you can select the line. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can get this done right. Go ahead and position it right there where the two clips start and end. And just drag it across. Try to go straight across. Alright, so now we have our line. And come over here under the inspector. And bring up the width. Alright, that looks pretty good, and we can change the color of it, of course. Uh, make it any color you want to. Go with the green, because that'll be easier to see. Alright, so now we have all of our um, all of our clips positioned and everything. So let's go ahead and go ahead and start keyframing. So to do that, select your uh, the, the image and click this uh, red button here with the diamond next to it for a keyframe recording. And so now we can go ahead, oh, and first of all make sure that your line is in its own group. You don't want that to be in the same group, otherwise it'll keyframe that along with your movie clip. So go and select your image, and we'll go and slide it across. At this point, if you don't want to reveal a third image, you can just stop here and leave your video clips like is, and that's pretty much it. But if you do want to do a reveal effect, go ahead and keep following along. Alright, so we've got this one keyframed crossed. Now we'll go down to our second image and keyframe that in the other direction. Alright. And for the line, 
we'll go ahead and keyframe that off also. All right. And now go ahead and import a third image or movie clip. Just gonna grab this one right here. Size it up. Oh, before you do any uh, anything else, make sure you uncheck your keyframe recording box. Otherwise, everything will be keyframed. Anything that you do, sizing it up or anything. All right, and bring your um, third clip down to the bottom beneath everything else. Alright, so now if we go ahead, play that through. Alright, there we go. So now we've got the, um, the images both slide away. And if you want to do it so that they don't just slide away immediately, you just need to um, start your keyframes later on in the project. But anyway, that's how you do it. You got a split screen done in Motion 5. And if you originally make the project when um, the first project screen screen comes up right here. When that comes up, you can, um, if you select Final Cut Effect, you can uh, export that afterwards to Final Cut Pro. And just use that as a effect that you can just drag right onto your clips whenever you're done. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.